Calculus 1, how to solve this? Here is the question. We are going to sketch a possible graph of a function with the following properties. So here we go. We have this limits conditions and let's just go through one of them at a time. So here we go, right here. Let's just put down the x and y axis. Firstly though, we have the limit as x approaching negative infinity of the function. This is the finite number zero. So that means we have a horizontal asymptote on the left hand side here, horizontal asymptote at y equal to zero. So no matter what you do, maybe you want to put something down like this. That's, that's okay because it's a horizontal asymptote, right? It's approaching zero. This is fine. Or you can also do like this. It's also fine, yeah? So I'm just going to keep it like that because I don't want to erase this anymore. Now next, when we are approaching negative one, so let's make a mark right here, negative one. Negative one for the function, from the negative side, by the way, so it's a little bit to the left. This right here is negative infinity. So that means before we hit negative one, the curve will go straight down. So in fact, the curve will have a vertical asymptote. And since I put this down already, so that means we better somehow come back down like this. So maybe it was easier if you do like this. It would be easier, but this is okay. And then if you go from the right hand side, right, negative one plus, we get positive infinity. So we get something like this. Now here's the deal. When x is approaching a number, we get positive or negative infinity. That means we have a vertical asymptote at this number. So I will indicate that this tells us we have a VA at x equals negative one. So perhaps let me indicate that right here. And by the way, the function can cross the horizontal asymptote just like this right here. This is still a horizontal asymptote. And the curve is approaching zero as x goes to negative infinity. So, so far we have done this, this, and that. Now, the limit as x approaching zero of the function is equal to the value of the function as zero. This means f is continuous as zero. And we also know that f of zero is equal to one. So here's of course zero, and let's say here is one. So we have a closed circle, and also the function must be continuous. So we can just you know, go a little bit left, a little bit right, something like that. The function is continuous right here. Okay, and then lastly, as x goes to past infinity, the value of the function will be approaching negative infinity. So I'm just going to go down. But this is not a vertical asymptote though, because x is approaching past infinity. So it's just like, just like go down, go out like that. The vertical asymptote is when you go straight up or straight down like this, like that. But this right here is like, the more you go to the right, the, the more it goes down. So there you have it. Something like this will work.